Today, in the world of cannabis, the Wisconsin governor presents a budget proposal that includes statewide cannabis legalization. The U.S. Congress reintroduces a bill for the FDA to allow the use of CBD in dietary supplements, and a coalition of U.S. senators reintroduces a bill to expand cannabis research. It's Wednesday, February 10th, and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. First up, in a report by Marijuana Moment, the Democratic governor of the state of Wisconsin, Tony Evers, introduced a budget proposal over the weekend that includes a plan to legalize cannabis statewide. Governor Evers cited voter support and millions of dollars of potential tax revenue for school and equity policies as reasons for including cannabis legalization in the budget. Legalizing and taxing marijuana in Wisconsin, just like we already do with alcohol, ensures a controlled market and safe product are available for both recreational and medicinal users, Governor Evers said in a statement. And we can open the door for countless opportunities for us to invest in our communities and create a more equitable state. Evers' plan, if approved, will legalize recreational cannabis use for adults aged 21 years or older and would allow for the possession of up to two ounces of cannabis for Wisconsin residents and up to a quarter ounce for out-of-state visitors. In addition, home cultivation would be permitted for up to six plants, and medical cannabis would also be legalized and would not be subject to retail tax. And next, Natural Products Insider reports that the U.S. Congress has reintroduced a bill to legalize CBD and other cannabinoids, except for THC, for the use in dietary supplements. This comes in spite of the U.S. Food and Drug Administration lagging on the issue. Called the Hemp and Hemp-Derived CBD Consumer Protection and Market Stabilization Act of 2021, it is identical to the H.R. 8179 bill that was presented in the previous Congress. It was introduced by Oregon Democrat Kirk Schrader and Virginia Republican Morgan Griffith, along with 12 Democratic and 5 Republican co-sponsors. If approved, the bill would subject hemp to the same FDA regulations as other dietary supplements and would maintain the less than 0.3% THC definition of hemp. There remains an absence of substantive progress of FDA's reported attention to creating a lawful pathway for CBD and a similar lack of clarification from the agency that simple hemp products such as tinctures and extracts should be regulated the same as other herbal supplements, said Michael McGuffin, president of the American Herbal Products Association. This legislation will fill those gaps, and we will see it as important for ensuring that consumers will be able to find hemp and CBD products that are clearly subject to the FDA's enforcement of the robust regulations that apply to all other herbal supplements. And last up, in a report by Marijuana Moment, a group of U.S. senators have reintroduced a bill seeking to support and expand cannabis research. The bill, called the Cannabis Dial and Marijuana Research Expansion Act, is sponsored by Senator Dianne Feinstein, Brian Schatz, and Chuck Grassley. When introduced last year, the bill passed unanimously in the Senate, but died on its way to then-President Trump's desk. The bill would direct the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, to develop cannabis-derived medicines and would simplify the application for cannabis studies. In addition, the bill would direct the Department of Health and Human Services, or HHS, to report on cannabis's potential health benefits and cannabis research bottlenecks and would allow physicians to share the risks and benefits of cannabis with patients. Because of restrictive regulations, we still do not understand exactly how medical marijuana can be used to safely treat a variety of conditions where it may be far more useful than current treatments, Feinstein said in a press release. This bill, which passed the Senate unanimously last year, would streamline the research process to follow FDA-approved marijuana-derived medications and to be used to treat serious medical conditions. Millions may ultimately benefit from a new, safe treatment for conditions like intractable epilepsy once this bill becomes law. That was today's buzz. Thanks for listening. For more cannabis news and insights from industry professionals and a place to discuss these stories and others, visit trichomes.com. And be sure to catch up with all of our other cannabis industry-related podcasts like Hash It Out, The High Ground, or Careers in Cannabis wherever you get your podcasts. For trichomes.com, I'm David Fortin. And I'm Devin Leal. Have a great day.